There's a quick 0-2 hole, four fouled off. This is lifted well deep into the gap in left center and gone! Riley Keith with a three-run home run. Breaks a one-all tie, 4-1 Golden Hurricane as she goes yard. We're joined now by Chrissy Strimple, who is the head softball coach at the University of Tulsa. Coach, thanks for jumping into the eye of the hurricane, and you're five and eight so far. What do you make of the first 13 games for your team? Uh, one, it was good to get out and see some really tough opponents that we played against. Um, I think right now we're, we're hunting for consistent innings. We'll have some flashes of innings where we look pretty good, uh, making great plays out there, uh, swinging the bats well, and then we'll have some innings with little inconsistency. So, but there are definitely areas that our team's going to grow in and get better. We always talk about this early in the year. You don't have as many opportunities here to get outside and field and, you know, take, take a look at the hops and that sort of thing. You get inside on the turf, and that's a little different. Uh, did you make that adjustment yet, or is there, there still some issues with that? Oh, for sure. Well, and actually, the first weekend we played on both turf and dirt. Um, and then the second weekend was back on turf. So we had a lot of practice in the indoor uh, on turf. But then this past weekend at Texas, you know, being on the dirt, the pitchers felt a lot more comfortable, you know, being out there. That's kind of a, a comfort zone for them is throwing on dirt. But um, I like that we've progressed, you know, throughout these three weeks. We've gotten better every weekend. And that's the goal of the, the year is to continue to get better. All right, let's talk about hitting. Haley Morgan is hitting over 400 for you early, and it's kind of what you expected after her fabulous freshman year. So she's, she's doing what you hope she would do, right? Yeah, she's really just kind of taken back off where she left off last year, and uh, she can get on a couple different ways. She can, you know, manufacture herself on base with a bunt. Uh, she doesn't seem to move out of the way of a ball in the box, so she'll take a few hit-by-pitches, um, but really just swinging the bat well. You know, even some of the outs that she's had have been hard outs, and so she's just seeing the ball really well from the plate. Is she going to break that hit-by-pitch record again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she will. She probably doesn't want to. <laughs> but then, as I and we're kind of going top to bottom on your batting order in terms of who's hitting well for you, and, and, a, and a youngster, Celeste Wood, is really doing a nice job, especially considering this is her first year in Division One. Oh, absolutely. I mean, Celeste has been just a, a bright spot for us as far as a, a young girl coming in and uh, the calmness that she shows at the plate um, just doesn't seem to be overmatched. The moment doesn't seem to be too big for her and just super excited to see her come in and just grab success right away. Abby Jones is hitting well for you and she has put herself in that second base spot for you and moved Kylie Norwood to first. And Kylie, of course, was such a great hitter for you last year. Surely she'll be coming along too, right? Yeah, and I have a lot of confidence in, in Kylie Norwood at the top of the lineup. Um, she still has good at bats and uh, she's such a leader and a vocal leader. It was an easy move to move her to first base. Um, and then especially when you have Abby Jones who comes in, who who's just a, eats it up at second base. You know, she just does such a great job uh, cleaning up any kind of ground balls over there and and then offensively man she's she's put in a lot of work in the off season really kind of worked on a few mechanical things but um, it's just nice to see those things pay off for her. Absolutely and you know Imani Edwards had such a good uh, first year uh, for you and uh, she's a little lower as far as her average is concerned I'm sure that's going to come up but what about a couple of the youngsters that you're really looking forward to um, you know getting a lot of offensive production out of and yet that, that hasn't happened yet and you know it will. Yeah, we've got a couple of freshmen that are, you know, very talented athletes and you know, seeing this game for the first time uh, at this level and how pitchers are, you know, going to attack you. Once they find your weakness as a as a hitter, they're going to try and go at you, you know, all the time there. And it's just being able to make those adjustments and they're working hard. You know, Kaylin Bearpaw is working hard. Clara Skaggs is working hard. Um, girls with tremendous amount of power you know, in their bat, and I just think they're trying to do too much at the plate, kind of go for the big hit every single time, and you really just want to get in there and have quality at bats. And in today's softball, now maybe 20 years ago, it was all uh, small ball, you know, lots mm -hmm. of bunting and, you know, just grinding out runs, but in today's game, it seems like so many of the great teams are hitting lots of home runs. So that's an area right now that you really looking for those youngsters to, to pull mm -hmm. you through with, with a few long balls? Oh, well, absolutely. I'd love for them to come in and be double-digit, you know, home run hitters. Right. And I think they have that potential. But, you know, I think you have to go back and think about, I just want to hit the ball off the barrel. Right. I'm just trying to have as many barrel shots as I can. And those, those numbers, those exciting numbers that, um, that are all over the place, you know, in college softball right now are going to come. Yeah, only one home run so far, right? You need to get a few out of the ballpark. And, and as you mentioned, we, if, if, if you hit the ball on the barrel, 
eventually the home runs will take care of themselves. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and, I, and I've been excited to see this weekend. I thought we banged the ball around the field. Um, I thought we had a lot of big-time doubles, you know, that happened for our, for our athletes and uh, really kind of start off, you know, Kennedy Kramer uh, started off one of the games with a, a shot to, to off the wall in right field and ends up with a triple, you know, and so you, those numbers are there, just haven't left the ballpark yet. All right, let's talk pitching now. Uh, you have several that you've trotted out there, and uh, you know, just give us an assessment of where you think the pitching tab is. Well, we're we're led by Sam Pocop, um, and she's a fifth year going in her fifth year COVID year, whatever you want to call it. But um, she's definitely the leader of our staff, and you want to talk about a player that's just so methodical in her approach, uh, how she handles her business, um, knows who she is as a pitcher, uh, loves to use that change up. Um, but just hit spots. I mean, she's she's fun to call for um, because you know that she's probably going to put it right in the area that you're asking. Um, the Mackenzie Brown is a freshman and tons of weapons, just kind of getting her feet wet out there, you know, and realizing that uh, your stuff is good enough to get out there and get after it. Um, you know, Kylie Nash has done a nice job yesterday, I thought, versus Texas, you know, coming in and I think she only gave up the one run, but you know, trusting her stuff and locating her pitches well. You know, and the same thing with Sarah Yamas. Sarah Yamas is a hard thrower. Um, we're trying to add some versatility to her pitches, but uh, she's an emotional pitcher, a hard thrower, just wants to kind of get in there and get after it. So I look for those girls to grow. You know, the, uh, once you get past Sam Pocop I, Pocop, I look for those girls to continue to grow and provide great outings for us they have they have the weapons and they have the ability to do it well in the last double header that you had obviously held texas to only five and then only one in your first game in the win over uh, utsa right yes so you've seen some improvement in the pitching oh absolutely and it's a it's a trusting your pitches and getting out on the mound and and what we do in the bullpen but taking that to the circle against you know hitters that don't know you a little bit and um, it's there and it's good that they got out these first three weeks and got comfortable and got opportunity on the dirt to see what we need to work on. All right, so one of the reasons, obviously, that we're kind of getting our first interview going and talking about the early season is, you know, the team goes away and plays a lot of games on the road, which is good, a lot of games under your belt. But now we're at home, and it's uh, the, the Tulsa tournament coming up starting on Friday, and you have some teams coming in now. DePaul from the Big East, Minnesota, Stanford Saturday, two games against DePaul on Friday. So that's going to be fun at home finally, huh? Oh, absolutely. You're always excited to get back home and play. I know the girls are going to be excited to, to sleep in their own bed. Um, and it's just a different feeling when you get to come and play on your home complex. Great teams coming in, like you said. Uh, DePaul from the Big East had a great year last year. I know that they have a couple pitchers on their staff that are tough to, to barrel against. But uh, excited to have those two games on Friday. And then Minnesota, Stanford, you know, teams that have just been notoriously great throughout college softball that are coming to your home field. So I look for a great environment. I think our girls are excited to be back here. Well, check it out on the schedule on TulsaHurricane.com to get all the times because I know a lot of softball fans want to come out, even if it's not a Tulsa game, and, and watch some great college softball. It's time to get outside, isn't it, huh? <laughs> it's going to be great weather. I know our girls are excited just to, like I said, be back, sleep at home, and, and <laughs> see our fans in the stands. Chrissy, thanks a lot. Appreciate you taking the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you very much. Chrissy Strimple, University of Tulsa Softball.